hey guys this is me studio joseph welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm gonna start a tutorial series based on HTML 32 microcontroller so first we are starting with gpio configurations so hope you have already downloaded the stm32 cube ide okay so let's get started so in this project i will be you know using up stm32 l476 rg microcontroller you can use any kind of a microcontroller for this project all the things you can you just need to you know vary the part number and you know different manual for it and use a different manual to configure the uh, you know the particular led for it so for example i have stm32 l476 nuclear board so um, you know i just have to download the stm32 stm l476 nuclear user manual so what is specialty about this user manual is like uh, I'm in this project I will be making a GPIO as an output and you know making it toggle writing to the pin setting and resetting the pin so that is what my agenda is so basically uh, you will be seeing the output through an LED or through the logic analyzer how the pins are getting toggles and what is the delay between each toggling so those things will be displayed over there so in order to make it see in the initial phase I will be toggling an LED so when you have an any kind of a development board like a blue pill board you, if you type up the you know the name stm 32 f 103 development board you will be having the particular schematics for it so from there you can see any LEDs are connected then you can make it to toggle it so in here you can see the user LED2 so that is PA5 that is I mean that is will be connected to the PA5 pin so you can make that particular pin to you know write to high or write to low so that you can see uh, that as an output so here I will be using up that particular pin that pin number A5 to use it so here you can write any random project name is team32 GPIO tutorial yep so otherwise you can you know any kind of microcontroller to take any particular pin and just uh, you know keep it to high and just check with the multimeter at the pin and so, so that if it is getting 3.3 volt or whatever is the highest voltage coming up there that's also uh, you know easy stuff so that's about it as you can see our LED was connected to the A5 pin as per the user manual so yep top layout bottom layout you can see the LD to green LED so this is the particular LED if in the board also you can see that green LED is there and it's not turned on yes so what I'm doing is like initially this GPO A5 you can see port uh, pin number A5 A6 A7 C B A, I mean all kind of a port are there so in here we'll be using pin A5 as an output yep you can see it got selected and GP output it came so if you see the GPIO configurations, there will be different, you know, configuration you can set up. So what is the initial, you know, the kind of a level you wish to put? You can put it as a set. I mean, keeping it low is your initial configuration. You can keep it like that. What is the kind of a mode? So you have output push pull and, uh, you know, open drain. Uh, usually you use open drain in the like I2C configurations or alternate functionalities. Generally, we don't use it much. So either the pull will be, you know, either the pin will be pulled up means uh, the to a resistor, I mean to an internal resistor, it will be connected to VCC or it will be pulled down, which means through an internal resistor, it will be connected to the ground or no pull up and no pull down configuration, which means it is in floating state. So by default, it can be high or low. So since we are explicitly putting it up as low, it will be in the low state. So and the maximum out output state speed as low. So it is like the maximum toggle speed or like how much easy you can toggle it. So user level you can either you can keep it or not keep it doesn't matter. So that's about it. Just press on control S and you can see it will generate the auto. I mean it will auto generate the code from the GUI configurations you had set up. So that's about it. So in the upcoming videos of this bare metal programming series, uh, I will be teaching up how not to use a GUI and thereby how to understand the technical reference manual of the STM32, you know, the Q, uh, I mean, any kind of a particular microcontroller and how to, you know, uh, do the GPU outputs and any kind of a peripheral, how to make up the outputs of it or like make up according to your application. So without using any GUI, like make up your own hardware abstraction layers by using the bare metal programming. So that's the agenda for the, you know, whole tutorial series. I mean, not as of now, I'll be using up the beginner or user setups, like someone who is a newbie to this uh, cube ID, how you can, you know, uh, first get started to it. So that's about it. So it, the code got generated. So in the in main, uh, you can see it's accessing a main dot H. Of course, there will be many, uh, you know, uh, function 
you know function declarations in those file yeah i'm not going through it right now i'll be just showing you how to toggle the led how to set the pin and reset the pin uh, in setting as a pin as an input i will be showing the next video as well so you can see hal in it it's just a hardware abstraction layer in initialization is happening that's about its system cloak configuration it will show like what are the basic cloak settings you need to do uh, such that the stm32 starts up running without any problem so that's that and uh, gpo in it so these are the settings which we uh, you know configured in the gui so basically if i explain it so here you have the cloak enabled i mean uh, cloak enabled to the gpa output i mean sorry gpa peripherals so initially we have the cloak not enabled to any of the peripherals for example peripherals like i2c spi gpa or b port uh, you are any kind of a port by default cloak won't be enabled so actually it is to save the power so if no if no cloak is enabled whatever you are trying to set uh, you know the particular uh, registers in that particular uh, peripheral it won't be able to set it means it will be always in the reset stage we won't be able to do a write even though you do a write it won't be taking an effect on it because uh, the cloak to it is switched off so we'll get into much more details later so we have put the you know initial state of the particular gpa port and pin as reset stage you remember we pulled it low and now we had already initialized a structure to it we are putting up the you know our initial configurations so pin a5 we have selected and output push pull mode and we are doing in no pull ups and we have selected low frequency means no speed i mean low speed we are keeping it up and we are giving it to a function so that the initialization will happen up here in the bare metal programming series we do all this by looking up the technical reference manual of the stm32 l476rg model and we will be doing it up by setting each registers like uh, you know memory mapping it to it and writing to it so as of now we will just uh, do a write to the you know uh, particular pin so here we are like uh, anyway using hal so anyway uh, like initially the api start with hal you can see many options pop up so we are using gpio so you know hal gpio so we can see what are the instead of popping up so right pin so we have toggle pin read pin lock pin in it and module enabled so i guess it will be the right pin so yeah so here if we go deep inside we can see what are the you know the by seeing the function you know uh, comments we can see what each argument means so gpo x can be a to h to select the gpo peripheral so it actually defines what port you are going to write okay so in our case it is gpo a port so we have to define in there what type of gpo port we are going to select it off so pin number uh, next argument is u in 16 gpo pin so what is a pin number so it will be pin number 5 and next what is the current i mean what is the pin state you want to set it up whether it is a reset or set where you want to make it up high or make it low of course we want to make it up high in the first okay so so here what we are going to do is set it up with gpio a and what is a pin so if we go up okay so here we have actually um, you know dedicated pin numbers like if we go into this this is our actually a hash defined so you can you know you can if you write it up like this or you have to you know particularly set up this particular uh, hex that actually goes into the you know the functionalities and make up the register level stuff so better try to use this pin number uh, i mean as defined in the hash defined so how do you know whether it is defined the hash defined so that's actually defined up here so in here they have defined the gpio pin x can be number between so and the pin state you can get it from here so it's a like a uh, enum so first you want to set it up pin set yep now the pin will be set as up so if i just compile the code now i'm gonna build so that i uh, i just identify like there is no error with it okay okay now i'm gonna connect our stm32 cube id sorry stm32 microcontroller yep it got connected 
you can see I'll, I mean initially it uh, just ask us a removal drive so it's not I mean just run the code in, then it will ask for debug configurations just click on ok by default it should work ok so it's trying to flash our stm32 yes it got flashed as you can see the green led got light up so before it was not lighting up now it got lighted yep so that's that and now we will try to blink it off okay so we are gonna put a hal gpio same same stuff we will copy instead of setting what we will do is like we will reset it so it will be off yes okay so shall we flash it okay wait one problem so without delay if we gonna you know flash this stuff we won't be able to understand whether it is turning on or turning off like based on what command it is like so we will put up a delay so that it is visible to our eyes so why we are actually using an led we are using an led so that we see the output correctly so if it is uh, i mean refreshing like going off and on within our you know um, uh, state of eyes i mean without we i mean if you are not able to notice the turn on and turn off then it's of no use right so we'll put up a delay so that we see the turn off and turn on so and we are gonna flash it yep you can see that the led is currently blinking with 500 milliseconds delay yes so same we can achieve by using a single command that is we just now see that we have the write pin command read pin command and one more is there that is actually the toggle command so hal gpio toggle yep so we have here gpio x that will be gpio a and gpio pin 5 we'll just copy it from here to there Yep. So we are going to go and flash it. I just clicked on the run, and you won't see any difference in the output because what the previous code does is basically same as the current code does. Okay. Yeah. So it's. I mean, even after flashing, it's actually the same. Yep. So for now, so thank you guys for the tutorial. So let's on next tutorial we'll see um, how to set up the you know QBID settings for making the GPR as an input pen. So thank you guys.